Hello, what's happening, everybody, and welcome to today's cast. Um, this game is rather long, so if you would please just pause the video, go get some popcorn or anything like that, a little beverage, and then just sit down and enjoy this particularly long game. There are some interesting heroes featured in this, which is why I'm casting it. I'm your caster for today, Mr. Frosor, and I shall take you on an adventure with the Caudal, Queen of Pain, and a Vengeful Spirit. So, we're gonna be just, I'm actually just gonna skip the draft because this is seriously a long game, I think it's the longest I've casted. There are some quite interesting heroes featured, which I'm gonna go over when we get around to. We got a Pudge, for instance, and an Axe and a Darkseer. Darkseer was pretty much like falling out of the current meta. Slark and Doom as well picked up. So, as of right now, when everybody has it loaded in, we're just gonna be introducing these radiant heroes. As they're probably just looking to move into their lanes. Jesus apparently had an Aegis, which probably explains a lot. Uh, we got Phobos playing on the Queen of Pain. We got Mayonnaise Salesman on your Duck Seer. Basically, hero was pretty much falling out of the meta. Completely, at least on the pro scene. We got lost over 600 MMR now on the Vengeful Spirit. And last but not least, Dot Dot on the Doom. Budging my man, actually going on the middle lane. Jesus, Jesus had an ages. Line. Sitting on, basically, uh, basically asleep. His name is Sleep, and I don't hope he's going to fall asleep doing this game. We got the Phantom Assassin. Click, click, boom doesn't really fit too well with the character. We got the Slarky as well, probably gonna be your safe lane farmer. That or a PA, they have two very very strong core heroes, but that is Vodka. It is some Russian person. Playing the Slarky. Or Ukrainian, I don't know. It is the same. We got some more Russians playing on the Caudal. The Keeper of Light, the old man. And last but not least, we got the Axe. I think that right there might be a bit of a jungle build actually. He's going two stout shields. That is very very old meta. The double shout shield. And yeah, they need to activate the curious. Somebody bought it and yeah. That's it. So Doom is responsible for that. We already got a bit of an engagement here. Phobos taking a lot of damage. He did skill blink first. Went for the bounty rune and actually got it, but paid with a lot of HP. Sleep. Just gonna take a bit of a rest, but Phobos really s that was a rather good snatch there. But Slucky of course taking the uh, top rune there. But as of right now, Axe not actually going to be a jungle axe. He's just going to be sitting in lane with the double stout shield. And that's going to protect him from a lot of harass up, up from this Queen of Pain. And especially the Vengeful Spirit, who's not that high damage. But he's already taking a lot of damage just eating those creeps. I don't know what's happening. The stun is going out. Axe, he might die here. He is going to be the first blood. 600 MMR is going to go a second blood to the line. And Queen of Pain has to fall back. I'm not entirely sure what this Axe is doing. He's just like running in. I can tank everything because I'm Axe. So yeah, that was um, rather strange. We actually got a mid Slark up against the Pudgy here. You should be somewhat okay with the Slark. Considering the fact that as long as the Pudge doesn't have the meat hook, he can't really chase him down if Slark pounces. Up on the top lane, we got Darkseer on the solo lane as of right now up against this Coddle, who's currently taking a lot of damage. Is there a vacuum available? No, he went for the search. Should probably pop it. I'm gonna chase down this uh, Coddle and he, yep, he's gonna go down. Down the bottom lane, though. X, creep skipping like a mouse. Oh, the beautiful deny out from the Vengeful Spirit just as the Battle Hunger came. Up on the top lane. We do have Manny Salesman. He's gonna take a bit of a rest here. But the lane is actually pushing quite badly on the middle lane. Pudgy. Getting his hands on the slug here. Now he's gonna get probably what's gonna become a bottle. Yes it is. Phobos. Now gonna be dealing some harass out to Doom. Or Boom. Dr. Boom. On this axe. And he's taking a lot of damage. Not even close to getting out. It's gonna pop the Berserker's Call. But that's not gonna save him. Up for magic damage. Sleep now sitting inside the woods. He's gonna rotate back into the lane. Wants to get Phobos, and is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. But now the counter initiation. Vengeful Spirit trying to go for the kill here. Is she gonna be able to? She should. Tower aggro, then there it is. A very, very messy start as of right now. And that fight, yeah, very much went the way of the Vengeful Spirit, at least. How are we doing in terms of gold? She pretty much got 500 gold out of that. 
And uh, we got minus 11 on the Queen of Pain. Not a whole lot, but still a significant amount. Pudgy is sitting on double damage rune here. And um, he can't really do a whole lot with it. He's dealing a lot of damage, but he's just not engaging very fast. His attack speed's not very far, but we're going to be keeping our eyes down here on this bottom lane because that is looking rather interesting. Doom. This is a jungle doom. That is not something I've seen in a long time. Now Slucky is going to pounce. And Pudge is going to be able to make it back out. Now Donald bottom lane. Are they engaging again? Yes. X is going to die once again. I think that's his third death. Yes, it is. He is 0-3-1. His, he's level 3 after 3 minutes. Basically granting that Vengeful Spirit a lot of experience. And he's barely got any farm whatsoever. He's never going to reach any point of anything. Now the Darks here. Getting chased down, Phantom Assassin. Does get the extra mana she needs, but blinking a bit too early here. And Ducks here, he should be out of there. Unless the dagger can connect. Trying to throw it, but gonna lose vision. And Ducks here, he's got another search on the ready. And PA, she wants to go for the dive underneath the tower. Is she gonna jump? No. She's just gonna be trying to retreat back out, but the rotation from Pudge. Might become a problem for her. They're going to see each other. And the hook. Oh, just off the mark. Now back down the bottom lane. We got the axe. And he's already low again. This is a disaster for him. Now he's going to get stunned. And uh, 600 MMR. Almost getting the kill there. Axe. Able not, we're not able to make it out. Phobos. Letting, avenge, letting his little avenge die. And not really a problem. It's a support for a semi-carry. So, yeah. It is more gold going towards the Star side, but if you look at who got the gold, well then, that's really becomes irrelevant. Oh, click, click, boom, boom, going up against the Darkseer. No crit yet, she doesn't have any damage. Now Darkseer going to try to chase her down. He's going to be able to get her. And that's an important kill in that Phantom Assassin there. So he's 2 uh, for 0 oh on a solo offlane. And this is a very, very messy game. Darkseer now getting his soul ring up and going for him. We got 12 kills in 5 minutes. If that's not a lot of kills, then I don't know what is. Pudgy taking a bit of a rass here from Slark. He's going to go for the dismember. Tower aggro is not with him, though. Oh, going to hit the hook. And Slark, is he going to get chased down? Yes, he is. Final last hit. Able to get it in. Phantom Assassin actually jumping the Duxley up on the top lane and getting the kill. So yeah, once again. <laughs> kills going left and right. As Radiant are taking the lead here. Now the Hex is out in the finger. Oh, Queen of Pain. You done goofed. Ventral Spirit, though, trying to get the counter kill. Don't think she's going to be able to. Speed is not enough up against the Lion that's got five more move speed. There is a stun available, but not going to choose to commit it. Probably for the better. Slug. He's going to rotate in here. I think he wants to find the Ventral Spirit. If he's going to get it, that could be a disaster for him. There's the stun. That's not going to connect. Pounce is going to disjoin it. And she is in trouble. This Lark, he's going to try to chase. Super far. Going to let it go with the Shadow Dance. She should be able to see him. Now Queen of Pain rotating back in. Dark Pact, not going to be enough. Queen of Pain body blocking. This Slark is in big, big trouble. Sue's now rotating in, and they got the kill on him. Big Jukes and up on the top lane. Phantom Assassin going very, very low. But Darkseer getting forced out by this Coddle. Now down on the bottom lane. This Doom and Pudge rotation. It was a lot of rotations, but it ultimately actually won him up against the Slug. And he's died four times by now. This is not good for him at all. This is not good for the Dire side. Um, but they do have the better late game. So if they can make it there, they should be able to take it. It all depends. It all depends on what kind of farm that they get as of right now. Because if it, currently they're not getting a whole lot of farm. Just... GPM on basically everybody is pretty damn low on. Lion is the heaviest farmer up on the star side so far with the Slark and Coddle sitting at the bottom. That's not how you want it to be. You don't want your only support, or not only support, position 2 support just sitting there like that. Pudgy, he can hook him. He's not gonna. By the way, you can hook through the catapult. That's very, very often that's a good idea to do. And Axe has just decided to retreat into the jungle. And um, he's looking to hit level 6 somewhat soon. Double damage. Darkseer. Sitting on second most farm. Or <laughs> last farm, but... 
Why did I say second most? But he's sitting on the last farm on this Radiant side. As of right now, by out farming Axe by actually rather large margin. I mean, it's uh, 400 gold in 7 minutes. It's actually uh, quite a significant amount. And he's pretty much got his Trunkles in order. Pudgy, though, he's looking for a hook here. Is he going to find it? There are creeps in the way. And Axe now getting his triangle Pudgy. He wants to go in for the kill. He's going to let go of the dismember. Rot not in range, but double damage Queen of Pain. It's going to let her rip. Where's the... There's no secondary blink, and Slug is going to be able to make it out. Now the counter initiation, maybe from line here. He does have a finger up in the ready, but it shouldn't be enough to take care of this Pudge. Love on the top lane. Ducks here. Yep, now he's going to get his triangles. That's going to help him out a lot in the lane up against the PA, who now crits. Haste. Note that. Lion, oh, had he let the finger go there, that would have been more than enough. He's going to let it go on the Doom. Ouchies. How's Doom looking? Oh, we actually got the axe down here in the bottom lane. He's going to let go of the Berserker's Call up against the Vengeful Spirit. Hex now coming in. Where's the stun? There it is. Lost over 600 MMR. Currently going very, very low. He could go for the swap on somebody to try to get out. He does have a magic missile, so if he can get the axe trapped underneath the tower, he can. But there's no aggro, and she's trying to make it out. Lion now rejoining the fight. They're trying to chase. There are no rotations. There they are. There's the TP. Vengeful Spirit should pretty much be dead. Yes, she is. Now Darkseer going up against the Axe here. It's going to let go of the Iron Shell first. Axe, go for the Donk. Not going to be able to. I don't think he had the mana. And now the Lion is going to get chased down. He's got nothing left. Now he's got a stun. And it's going to let it go. Should be able to take this. Yes, sir. Doom now coming. Back in again, and that should be the end of the line. If the creeps would not block Doom, there it is. Just gonna run him down with that Scorched Earth. Now Slark deciding to join in. He wants to find this Doom. I'm not entirely sure he can do it. I don't think the damage is quite enough. Because this Doom does have 7 in armor. Venge. It's back in the lane. Actually going for a semi-carry Venge here. Um, which is rather interesting, if you look at it. Just, uh, Queen of Pain, sitting inside the Roche Pit. She is going... Oh, never mind. Call on the Vengeful Spirit. It's gonna get the stun off, but... That's gonna be more than enough to bring her down, and... Now the rotation's coming in, though. Double damage. Once again, she's getting lucky with the runes here. It's gonna be able to find the axe. Call, is it gonna go? Not yet, nope. Pudge. Gonna hit that hook, and... Sonic Wave is gonna be able to finish it off. Now Lion. Coming back in, the finger is not ready yet. Stun, out on the Queen of Pain. Is she gone? Yep, she is. My voice. The Russian is coming in for the kill. This, the, the Russian slug. This is how I presume the Russian slug sounds. I was terribly racist, I know. Mayonnaise salesman is going to get slow. They're not going to let the PA come in yet. He's going to dodge the Coddle Blast. And now Slark sitting on his pair of power treads. 10 minute power treads, ladies and gentlemen. That is not how you farm Slark. In terms of last hits, we're actually sitting on a lion who's sitting on the most net worth of the entire game. As of right now, he's building a very, very quick axe. And that can actually be rather interesting. A position 1 lion with the super quick Aghanim Scepter can make really mince meat of this Vengeful Spirit, even with the magic damage resistance. Because if you look at it, you're going to be having 1,000 damage versus 815 in health, I mean. Oh, okay, not anymore, not at 815 yet. Vengeful Spirit, getting Hex, Lion coming in, there is no stun. So it's just going to be able to make it out. Damage was not enough for the finger. Jesus has an Aegis. He doesn't anymore, though. They want to go for this hook, and this is actually a rather good combination. The Iron Shell plus the Rot into the Meat Hook is a very, very good combination. Slucky. Oh, he's going to get teleported up on the top lane. They're going to drag him up into the woods here. Because they want to find somebody. Doom, 12 minute Midas. He's been having trouble dealing with the, with the kills here. And currently using the Regen Aura. You pretty much, you could let, you could do without the regen aura. I mean, if you just put those triangles on the ground as soon as you go into the camps. Oh, Slucky. Actually, Lion, getting the Vengeful Spirit here. 
but that that kill went on mid lane now the rotation's coming in top hook that's not only going to connect on a creep there their own creep punch now in big time trouble he's going to drop sonic grave is going to rip there is a wall so they got to watch out going through that slug able to pounce out ducks here not able to do a whole lot it's just going to iron shield the queen of pain and she's going to try to look for a kill here is she going to find it nope and now the counter initiation slug Pouncing in, no mana, and she's gonna go. That was a bit of a weird fight there. Axe dying as the only victim of this dire side. And that's not a kill you want to give off to Slug. Those uh, those two kills they just gave him on the Queen of Pain and the Pudge. That's not something you want to give him. Because he's going to build Scotty and he's going to kick dicks on you. What is that that she's got? PA got Helmet the Dominator. And a Blades of Attack. Is this an armlet PA? That could be rather entertaining. New meta, ladies and gentlemen. This is the future. Armlet PA. They want to loop up and around. Who's that up there? Got a slug inside the woods here. He's going to be rotating up for the top lane. On the mid lane, we got the Doom up against Dr. Boom. Up in the axe there, and Doom just gonna try to farm away here. Darks here just sitting alone up at the top lane. Slug looking for this kill. He's gotta go for the pouch. Dark packed as well. Now gonna be going up against the tower and the Darks here. Darks here does have quite a lot of damage. But now the PA is gonna let the Stifling Dagger go, and that's enough for the Slug to catch up to take that kill. Or basically, actually, Coddle got it with the Coddle Blast. About time you got a kill. Now at the mid lane, we do have a bit of a fight there. Sleep. Oh, Lion and the Axe. Getting completely destroyed by this Pudge, and he's got 8 stacks in Flesh Heap already. He's got 7 1 2, and they're feeding him big time. But it is going to be in trade for the top tower. No rotations coming out, so they're not, re not really looking to defend it. They're just going to let it fall. They don't really have anything to defend it with. Their two major team fighters are down and out for the count, so I can kind of understand why. Darks is actually going to come up to protect this tower. So we got the lion almost done with the Zaganum Scepter. About 300 gold out. He's currently sitting on the highest net worth, followed closely by Doom. Who's going for an ogre club? I'm not entirely sure what he's going to turn that into. There are a lot of options with it. Or, there really aren't. There's a... Uh, Sanj, which is the likely choice, then there's the PKB and the Aghanim Scepter, and pretty much all items work on Doom, but Assange, Assange as of right now would make the most sense. But seeing the fact that he hasn't gotten the ban or the uh, build of strength, I'm not entirely sure, and yes, we're going to be seeing the new meta, Armlet PA. You've seen it here, you've seen it here first. Armlet Phantom Assassin. Let's see how this is going to go down. We're going to be taking a close look at this Phantom Assassin here. Rotation's coming in. Jesus. Not really going to be doing anything. Ventral Spirit going to get turned into a frog. They're sitting up on the aggro and they don't see him. They don't see the Coddle currently, but Ventral Spirit sensing the danger and getting out. And now Pudge and, uh, and the Queen of Pain are in a bad spot here, but... PA and Coddle are rotating top to see if they can find the slug. Or not slug, excuse me. Ducks here. Click, click, boom. They're gonna let the wall drop, plus the vacuum. There is a Vengeful Spirit, or a Phantom Assassin, going on a Phantom Assassin, so. D Ducks here gonna be able to live, and he can even go for kills here if he wants to. Not gonna go up against this PA, she's very, very low. But one crit would be more than enough. Down on mid lane, they are fighting slug. Oh, the dismember out from Pudge. He's going on this lion. Doom is going to go on the slug, and he's going to be trying to retreat out, but Axe going to call him to the battle. Lion is going to drop one dunk from Axe here, and he's going to try to finish off this Doom as well. It is a bit optimistic, but he can do it. There is a call in three seconds here. In the meantime, actually up on top lane, they are trying to find this, uh, this Darks here. Now Doom going to go in even lower. Ducks here, not dead yet. Now TA, or PA jumping in with that armlet. And Coddle Blast is going to be enough, and PA taking that last hit, but... Doom, not going to die, he's not going to fall, and... 
It's going to be absolutely fine. And he is going for the straight Aghanim Scepter. Oh, yes, sir. Vengeful Spirit jumping in. Going to gonna land that stun and Cog will kind of have to try to retreat back out here. And Vengeful Spirit sitting on that Yasha. As of right now, has died six times. I mean, we've had more than two kills per minute. This is rather strange. Pudge now got his blink dagger. I've been going for him. So he's going to be a lot more mobile and a lot more uh, friendly on the rotations. And Oh, Queen of Pain, they want to get this coddle. If Queen of Pain would get out of the way, they can go for a hook. Or maybe just trying to find the Slark instead. They're going to look for him and they're going to find him. Now Slark, inside the Shadow Dance, is now possibly going to get this member just out of range of no mana. They have burned him of all of it. Pudge now trying to make it back out. Bottle charge is going to get cancelled. He might be looking to turn this. Could go for the dismember. Where is it? There it is. Now going to go for it, but Pudge going to deny himself. Maybe should have not turned Rod on. But the 2 versus 2, and now 21 21. Slug sitting on the highest net worth here. Has come surprisingly well back into this game. He's gotten 6 uninterrupted kills here. Now Doom, though, sitting on the highest net worth. And Lion falling a bit back. As of right now, this Queen of Pain actually sitting on the lowest. She's been dying a lot. Oh, Lion, he's gonna get stunned. There's the Vengeful Spirit now getting engaged. Now also gonna get swapped, actually. I, th I thought she was dead. Sleep. Should pretty much fall. He's. They're gonna try to TP him, and nope, it's not gonna be fast enough. The Dark Sea PA Illusion is gonna run her down. Or run him down. But in the meantime, Axe gonna be taking that top lane tower. Pudge gonna eat away at him and axe he could try to turn it i'll probably not do that he's just bashing away at him and but the rod is gonna be too much here yes it is gonna try to go for the mana burn or basically the mana leak the mana rupture but Pudge's gonna be able to jump back out here i am really excited to see this armlet pa it doesn't make any sense on any level but I want to see if this works. I really want to see if this works or not. Doom. Gonna just chill down here in the top lane, trying to look for that last little bit of the Aghanim Scepter there, and he's pretty much, he's pretty much sitting on it. I don't know if the Curie's got anything on it. It does have, hold on. I just checked it. It does have the point booster. Budgy, budgy. Budgy, budgy, budgy. You're looking for some hooks? Slug, it might be a potential hook. And there is the pounce. Shadow Dance on cooldown, though. But it's actually going to get completely denied there. I'm not really sure what happened to this member. But Pudge going to get bursted down. There's no Sonic Wave. And Queen of Pain going to pretty much fall. Just going in without a plan there. She's going to die again. Now they're coming in the Dark Seer. The wall is up and ready. And he's going to drop it. Where's the vacuum? There is none. He is rocked. But... Slark is going to fall. Now the counter initiation or just re the retreat to be more specific. Sleep is going to give him a little stun there. But they managed to find the Slark which was quite important. And PA is going to be chilling back with a Mithril Hammer. Might actually, if my intu intuition is correct, might actually go for the Desolator instead. Click, click, boom. Got the Vengeful Spirit. Doom now has his Aghanim Scepter asleep. Is gonna go for the Frog. The axe now coming in. Where's the call? There it is. And they're gonna try to go for it. There's the Donk. But Doom back in and he's gonna actually Doom the Lion. So there's not gonna be a finger for the entire duration of this fight. Coddle Blast not really gonna do too much. Axe now jumping back in. There's no mana for the Doom but the Axe unable to stand up to the damage. And he's just gonna drop. And Lion, just not now, just now getting the Doom off him. Coddle as well, he's probably going to go down here. There it is. Queen of Pain just going to finish him off with the Sonic Wave, but that's a rather long cooldown to finish on somebody who was going to die anyway. But nevertheless, she's going to pretty much have her Orchid of my level, and she's not far from it at least. And this dog's actually the only one really looking to push. Slug also got the Sanjin Yasha ready for him, so might not actually go Scotty. 
Um, could probably be looking to build into something like a basher build. Now gonna go for the pounds. Darkseer, he's in a lot of trouble. Slark. Don't think he's gonna make it. The surge is gonna be more than enough, and he's got himself in a lot of trouble. Queen of Pain gonna blink out of that one. Yeah, Coddle now actually sitting on the four staff. His farm is not looking terrible either. Actually, currently it's the Queen of Pain who's pretty much lowest on farm. As of right now, 29 last hits with 9 deaths and 4 kills. That's not good. But Axe can do worse. He is 4, 10, 7. He is a bit higher in net worth, but it's not by much. That's actually why 1k gold as he's now going to jump in onto this Queen of Pain. Doom though, he's going to get brought low and he's going to go down. Coddle taking that kill. Now Axe. Oh, the swap. They're going to decide to swap actually the punch back in. Phantom Assassin. I don't know what's happening to these members. They just keep getting cancelled. But Slug is going to go down. Now Axe running straight into the wall. That's probably a bit of a bad idea. But Lion going to let go of the finger. So they're pushing in deep. They're actually taking a fight behind the tier 2s. Doom though. Sitting on the highest net worth. Does have his finished Aghanim Scepter. So does the Lion, also sitting on two null talismans. Might want to turn the, one of those into a Dagon and the other one into a Vile of Discord. Oh, Pudgy, going for the hook. They're going to be able to find the Lion Axe, though. Grabbing the attention here. Pudgy, he's low. He's not getting any backup. Vengeful Spirit, she could swap him. Not gonna. Now going to swap the, the PA. And there is... Yes, there is the Magic Missile. And that's going to not actually be enough. She missed it, but there it is, Vengeful Spirit, letting go of the Wave of Terror, and that is just enough. Actually going to go for a straight man style, that's probably not a good idea. There are a lot of bad choices being made in this game. I'm sorry, but there just is. We've got 31 to 30 at 24 minutes. I mean, if you get that amount of kills, there is something wrong. There is something seriously wrong with your game. Coddle. It's just going to be uh, casually getting rid of uh, Observer Wards here. On mid lane, there's a Slarky. He's going to get doomed and he's going to try to make it back out. Phobos getting it on the chase there. But now the Coddle grabs the attention. That's probably not the target they want to go for. They want to try to get the Slark, but Coddle is. Uh, Coddle's God. He's taking all the attention. Now Queen of Pain jumping in. They want to get the kills. Now on the counter initiation though the lion. Now the fight really erupts. The doom not gonna get called. PA jumping in. He's gonna try to find the dark here. He's gonna cover the run out, but the crits able to finish off the doom here. And X. That right there looks a lot like a blade mail. Which is okay. I'll probably have gone for instead of a Vanguard for her to defiance in this case. Because there's just so much magic damage coming out from this team. I mean, they don't have a whole lot of physical damage. Doom is pure, so that's going to go through. A lot of it. But Pudgy, his, uh, his dismember is magical, so... It's probably going to be your biggest counter. Plus... Oh, uh, yep, the save hook. Vengeful Spirit is fine, but the wave is pushed in, so they might want to try to defend this. Darkseer are currently sitting on the middle lane with not enough mana to go for both the wall of Replica and uh, the Mechanism. But he's going to be trying to push in the middle lane here. Actually going straight Shiva's after this. That's a bit uncommon. Usually you would get the Aghanim Scepter and then turn that into a Shiva's, but he's been out of the meta for a while, so no real pro team has uh, been able to show the way forwards on the docks here for a uh, very very long while he's actually gonna go for an old talisman instead and that right there was just my game closing Finders, keepers. oh the puns are real out from the old man jesus had an ages it's gonna go for the ring of reach and that's gonna get turned into a four staff and now axe is he in trouble they're gonna let go of this member he could be in a lot of trouble there it's going to only get one spin off that. That's a rather unfortunate. Lion now coming in with a double stun. He does have a finger up on the ready. It's going to let her rip. Pudge getting brought low. And there is the last hit. Double kill for the Lion. This guy is big and fat. And Vengeful Spirit now coming in. Going to go for the swap. Back into... Oh, I have not seen that before. Doom able to finish it off. Now Slark is going to jump onto this Vengeful Spirit. Is she going to live? 
I don't think so. They're trying to trade blows. Yep, she's not gonna live, but now it's like trying to go toe to toe with the Doom. That's a decision he immediately regrets. But nevertheless, that was rather cool. Usually you would let the Nether Swap go first. Or not go first, go second. Just throw in the magic mid or uh Yeah, Nether Swap go first. And then into the stun. But what Vengeful Spirit did was let go of the stun first, and then before the stun had found its mark, go for the swap, so the TA got swapped right back into a stun. That was rather clever. Um, I'm not entirely sure what she's trying to do. She built for a Mithril Hammer, as you can see here over on the right, which I assume was going to get turned into a Desolator, but she's now going for a Morbid Mask, which should just... A, in this case, probably a Mask of Madness. That's at least what I think in Stark. Oh, um, I want to try to go for that double damage from the first, though. It is there, and they're just going to force out this punch. Double yep, there's the double damage rune. And if you look at CS, just give it that some thought here. Nobody's hitting 100 half an hour into the game. That is... Not very good. Pretty much people are sitting on three last hits per minute. Gotcha. Now gonna be jumping in on top of the Dark Seer. He's having an issue and now the call nope. Call's actually gonna miss with the vacuum punch coming in from the rear. Gonna try to dismember the slug. He's gonna go on the shadow dancing. Queen of Pain unable to stand up to the damage. And the axe, he's gonna be able to take out this Dark Seer. Jesus had an ages. Slug, I don't know why he's going back in. He is on seven HP, but they're gonna be able to clean up this punch. And Slark just gonna heal right back up here. He's got a he's riding on a lot of damage. Nope, that's actually just dropping back down now. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. But he's fine, sitting on level 17, 3.2k gold, and I'm not entirely sure what he's gonna be spending it on currently. The crow being used by this PA and That's a Vladimir's offering. Alright, that explains a lot. That does explain a lot. You know, you have like three choices, whereas Mask of Madness is the dumbest, but considering the fact that she bought an armlet, I'm not gonna second guess that. <laughs> I'm not gonna second guess the fact that she got a Mask of Madness just because this is a weird build. This is a rather strange build. And I don't really know if, if it works or not. I just can't, I just can't tell. But nonetheless, she's gonna go for the Vladimir Softing, which is a common PA pickup. Usually you would get the Helm of the Dominator, but Vladimir's works as well. Invisible it is a bit old meta, but yeah. And now they're going to be going for the Roshan. Um, which is actually seeming to go rather fast. Armlet? It's going to be keeping the attack speed and the damage up here. As the Doom. He knows, he knows. The Axe is joining in here. Nope, he's not. He's actually just going back out again. They know they they gotta know they're doing rush. They gotta know. But the, the question is, who's the agent gonna go on? Phantom Assassin wants it, but I think Axe is actually gonna go for it. Slug now gonna die up in the middle lane. Yep, Axe is just gonna go straight for that agent. That was probably not what they wanted. I'd say that Phantom Assassin as of right now is a bit more valuable asset than a uh, maybe not actually with <laughs> the level 17 Axe. But yeah, Pudgy going up against the Slug and completely dying. Getting ripped apart. Dark's here. He's gonna be taking these uh, these creep camps that Doom was probably looking to get. He does still sit on that. He's still sitting on that Midas. Uh, also got a Plate Mail. Which I assume is also gonna get turned into a Shiva's Guard. Which is a rather common Doom build. Um, I don't think the Assault QS is imminent, seeing the fact that he has not bought any of the other components. So he might be saving up for Mystic Staff. Vengeful Spirit. Was she level 18? She was level 18. Is actually going to go for Desolator. Rather common, uh, semi-carry Vengeful Spirit pickup. And that's going to help her, help them out a lot to bring down this Lion. Also to bring down the Slark, because his armor is going to be immense. And they're going to try to, maybe not actually... Rob some of it because most of their damage is either pure or magical. So I'd say it's mostly for the lion and the coddle and uh, potentially also the axe. Who's now just getting a donk on a dog here. No biggie. No biggie. 
Oh, double damage rune on the Phantom Assassin. They might be looking to push off this Pudgy. Is he going to be able to find a hook? He's going to go for it, but it's going to split the rackets. And Slark now getting his Scotty. So he's just a stats man. He's a man of the stats. Vengeful Spirit. You might be in a bit of a bad spot there. Coddle Blast. Not going to find anybody as of right now. Pretty much everybody just waiting to go. Pudge sitting up on the high ground, waiting for that second hook. So is Queen of Pain. She's only sitting on 8.30 or 53, sorry. 8.53, 4K or 5.5K network. She's going to let the ulti rip. But going up against an axe, she's going to just die to it. And there's the Aegis going to get blown. Now the Cuddle Blast is going to not really put anybody low. And Pudge just trying to blink out from this. Right here. Now the Slark, he's going to be pouncing and trying to look for that Doom here. Oh, the Swap. The Swap save from Vengeful Spirit. It's going to keep him alive. PA has gone down. I'm not entirely sure where. Ducks here. Oh, no. The save hook was not on point. Oh, the vacuum into the wall. There's a lot of illusions going out there, but nope. No real damage as of right now. And Axie's just going to be almost running back and forth into the wall. Oh, the hook almost there. Slark just moving out of range there. But yeah, Doom gonna be picking up his Shiva's Garden. Darkseer closing in his as well. So they got a bit more teamfight potential with that. And Doom currently the second most farm guy on the board now. Slark gonna be pouncing in on him. There is not enough damage in the world though to bring down this Slark as of right now. Oh, the nice little finger from the lion there. Slark even going further under the Darkseer. Save hook. And he didn't even realize it was alive. Axe gonna miss the donk. Slark just chasing down here. But they're gonna lose the axe to this. The dismember has gone. So they're not gonna be able to find the Slark. And a little courtesy stun there. Buyback actually from the Dark Shoes. So that's gonna delay his Shiva's Guard by quite a significant amount. And they want to get a counter kill. They want to get a counter kill. But I don't think there's a counter kill to find. Oh, Queen of Pain almost gonna drop from that. Aghanim Scepter, Finger Death, but the Hulk is on target. There is no Dismember though. It is not there. He's silenced. He just got it off cooldown. And Lion, he should almost be able to make it back out here. Where's the vacuum? It is there. Gonna pull them both back in. Slark now going in. Pudgy all alone. He's gonna drop and... Oh man. Pause. Out for room straight on pause. Because that's the way it oughta. Yikes, he's in the... The four staff is ready up for the uh, punch here. But I doubt that would have helped him a lot. If anything, Doom actually sitting on the uh, the Centaur Stomp. That's sometimes rather good. I mean, it's rather convenient for those teamfights, seeing the fact that it is a two, two second stun duration for a uh, hero. Not a whole lot of damage, but the stun is good. Axe, now getting the Crimson Guard here. That should help him out, at least in the teamfights. Deal with some of the Venge, not exactly Vengeful Spirit damage, but some of the Queen of Pain damage because he's not powerful. She's at still level 13. If you look at the experience permitted, she's sitting on 200. Lion now going to get swapped in. They want to get the kill. Vacuum back in. There is no stun. He's going to get four staff all the way in, but almost going to actually get the counter kill on the Vengeful Spirit. Phantom Assassin taking that top tower. And the push is in. Yep, there it is. That's the Desolator. And uh, Orchid of Malevolence finally done on this. Queen of Pain. Love the fact that if you look at net worth, PA is actually sitting somewhat reasonable considering the game and Yikesies. This Slark. He went in deep. He's not gonna get vacuumed in, he's gonna have to go through a wall. But seeing the fact that he just hasn't got an Aghanim Scepter, it's not really that much of a deal. It's not really that big of a problem. It's gonna give you like 50% more to get an axe, so if you're playing Ducks here, get an axe. Especially if you're up against a Phantom Assassin and a Slark. Phobos, just getting pulled back in, Slark also sitting now on an Eagle Song, he is the highest on net worth, no question about it, and he's just starting to snowball, this is when he gets dangerous, and once he gets that butterfly, it's going to become an even bigger problem, because I don't think anybody here are looking to, up, to pick up BKB, or not BKBs, MKBs, they don't really have any right click damage at all, they're solely relying on the magic damage, especially with the Doom Ags. 
Uh, Pudgy. Is he gonna find the hook? Nope, he's not. And some Russian ladders out in the chat here. Oh, the hook? He's gonna be able to find this axe. Not entirely sure it's a good idea, though. Blade Mail is gonna wear off, and axe is gonna go for the counter initiation. Gonna miss the donk, though. That is a Pudgy you're trying to donk. You gotta be really, really low. Doom gonna get that kill on the axe, and they're gonna actually... Nope, Lion. He's got Bloodstone. It's a Bloodstone Lion. Connell. Getting chased down. Slark now coming back in, and they're immediately trying to get out. Pounce, nope, not gonna connect. So he's gonna try to find the Doom, though. He's in very, very deep. He's gonna get Orchided. No pounce out. PA jumping in, wants to get the Doom. Where's the dismember? It is there. Phantom Assassin now, having trouble coping with the damage. She's gonna follow, and she's gonna die. That was a big kill. But it took all of their strength to pick that kill. But yeah, Lion Bloodstone. This is a farming lion. He's 15, 9, and 13. He's not very good to get up against. And, um... What was that? I think that was a pair of power sets coming out on somebody. I'm not entirely sure who. It looked like a pair of power treads. Might have been on the Queen of Pain. I don't know. But yeah, Queen of Pain does really need to get back into this game because currently their lineup is like this. Got position 1 Doom, position 2 Vengeful Spirit, position 3 Pudge, not super uncommon. Position 4 Darkseer, not entirely sure about the meta, but position 5. Oh, the dismember though, Slucky. Getting pulled out, gonna miss the hook actually, but he's gonna go down. Monster killing spree, down for him. But what I was saying was that... Oh, nope, never mind. I'm gonna hang on to that thought for a second because this Coddle is getting chased down. Oh, nope, hook gonna miss. Oh, dear. This Coddle should almost be able to make it back out, and he is barely with the skin of his teeth. Oh, that was too close. But yeah, I gotta try to see if I can get back on track here. Yep, position 5, Queen of Pain. Um, not really what you want, to be honest. And Coddle, yep, easy escape, easy escape. Mainly a salesman. It's gonna be laughing off to it here. Did he get the Mystic Staff? He got the Mystic Staff. His Shebus is done. His Shebus is done for 39 minutes in and he's got a Shebus. That's gonna help him out a lot in the team fights, but I'd still suggest a good little uh, Aghanim Scepter. Hoja! It is the Juggernaut. Hajar! Just looking at effigies. Wrist steep, my ring. <laughs> that is rather weird. And what's the last one here? We got the. That's just a. Uh, just making an effigy to make an effigy. No real serious ones, except for the fact that that checking out one was rather good. What do we got here? We got a little, that's a Wraith King. Just sitting up inside the air, just curl up like a ball. We do have a fight down though in the jungle. Vengeful Spirit trying to TP out. She should be able to Doom up in the Slark. Naturally gonna cancel the TP, wants to swap the Slark in. Now the problem though, Doom, he is stunned. Now the finger is actually gonna go on the Vengeful Spirit, probably the wrong target and Lion, <coughs> Lion gonna go down, excuse me. Coddle though, he's gonna get chased down and dismembered. Oh, immediately regretting their decision. But Coddle, though, is he going to be able to make it bad out? Nope, Chivas is going to slow him too much. And there is the kill. Phantom Assassin actually wanting to go in, but going to be unable to. Now going to try to jump the dogs here. The damage, it's real. And she's going to pull. He's just going to pull back out. And Now Slark is jumping. There is nobody to really uh, take down. Axe. Oh, they're going to find the Queen of Pain, and she should be... Toast for this axe, and he's gonna hit the donk. So they're gonna try to pull back out after actually getting a rather solid fight. I mean, they they're gonna lose to Queen of Pain once again, and um, she is six, thir 15, 14. And this is a very very messy game, though. Lost over 600 MMR. She's gonna be able to TP straight back out again off the slug. And there's a bit of a bottom tower push, which is gonna get cleaned up by Slucky, and that's pretty much gonna secure him his if he gets all the last hits. Almost missed one, but that's pretty much his uh, butterfly. Phantom Assassin, though. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what's up with this armlet. 
Oh, no, Pudgy. Gonna blink in. He still has a hook up on the ready. And he's gonna go toe to toe with the Phantom Assassin. Pudgy gonna get swapped out. He's gonna deny himself, but but about Phantom Assassins. She's gonna go. Nice swap there from Lost over 600 number more. Yowchies. That's gotta hurt having your uh, PA drop like that. And even at level 18 to a level. What is she now? The uh, Vengeful Spirit. Level 22, though. She's actually going Butterfly. Just the same as Larkin. He's probably going to look to have to pick up a PK an MKB at some point. Probably not going to do it. It's one of the most underrated items in the game. The MKB, but... It's it's something that he, that he really needs to pick up. Coddle now getting his BOT, so he's going to be all over the map. As of right now, they got to pull back. They have to pull back and try to defend their high ground, and looks like... This Dire team, they want to push in. We might have a very, very big fight erupting soon. Sleep. It looks like they don't really want to go. Axe going to make the decision. Going to jump in onto the Doom. There's the vacuum, though. Into the wall. Beautiful vacuum. And now, the finger is going to rip onto this Vengeful Spirit. She's going to be able to make it back out. It was actually onto the Ducks here, but never mind that. Ducks here. <coughs> Slug now jumping in. Excuse my throat. I just got something stuck inside there. Yeah. Gonna give chase. It's the Doom. Budge now coming in. He's gonna dismember. Doom just not really doing anything. He's just sitting there avoiding to lose up his, all of his mana. Phantom Assassin. It's gonna go toe to toe with the Pudge. He's gonna be able to jump out. And this Phantom Assassin. She's gonna drop. Pretty much everybody dead. It's a full five man wipe if this Codon goes down. It's so close. Are they gonna be able to chase him down? He is a lot faster than this Vengeful Spirit. And he should not be able to. He is. Oh, should actually be able to make it out. Oh, my dear lord, Coddle, you lucky son of a fuck. Double damage. Double damage. Yes, sir. Doom, though, making the right decision in my eyes, getting the Heaven's Halberd, trying to uh, deny this Slark and Phantom Assassin a bit of damage. And that's going to make it a lot easier to try to take him out. If they can just rob him off their right clicks, but... The, currently Radiant, taking that fight very, very convincingly. If you look at the graphs, it's just a mess. 12k, 14k ahead of the Dire, and now it's pretty much back to zero. Experience, very much the same story. And, um, this game is rather messy. Ducks here. Does that have the ultimate orb? I'm not entirely sure for what. Maybe a Cypher Vice? I would say that's going to go into a Cypher Vice, but I've been wrong before. I mean, it would make a lot of sense. Try to build that into that. Holy hell, the damage that he's got. 71 physical damage resistance. That is a rather significant amount. That's going to get even uh, bigger once the essence shifts drop out. That should be there in a second. Yep, that's two. One. There you go. And that's the... Yep, 71. He's got way too much armor. That's... Basically, I want to describe it. I cannot do mass today, but I know that right there is 40. He's got 40 armor. Roshan, now dropping Phantom Assassin. Going to be picking that up this time. No axe to steal it today. And the BKB is coming up from Phantom Assassin. Very much the right item choice, considering the heavy amount of magic damage that's coming out. Heavy is a bit of an underestimate. A bit of a a bit of an understatement. Oh, Doom, though. He's going to get caught on a position. Going to get frogged. Where's the stun? They're not going to let it rip just... Just yet, they did have an easy kill because every single hero is pretty much out of position for th for that fight. And if they could pick off the Doom right off the bat and not have his Doom go off, that could be a uh, big deal for him. I'm not entirely sure why he's getting the Mono Burn. But then again, this game doesn't make a lot of sense. The analysis is rather difficult. But he's going to find himself a Vitality Booster. Um, I would say that's going to get turned into a Heart. As of right now, and that's gonna basically provide him or give him the tank. Oh, the hook! They're gonna find the Slark. He's just gonna Shadow Dance right off the bat. Probably expected that hook. And yes, there is the Javelin. Nope, that's gonna get turned into a Basher. That's rather unfortunate. Considering the fact that the Vengeful Spirit's Butterfly is done. And she's doing a lot of damage. She's doing a lot of damage. They really need to start taking her seriously. Alex, though, sitting in the middle of the fray here. He's just going to go straight in onto the tower. He's probably not the guy you want to initiate. You may want to get this Phantom Assassin before she gets anything. 
of, yep, they're gonna try to go for it. It's gonna get... It's essentially gonna jump back, but she's jumping low very, very fast. Lion gonna let the finger go, but no real damage out there. Darkseer getting low. Pudge gonna go for the dismember. Axe sitting inside the, basically the middle of everything. But now also outside the base, yep. That's the Phantom Assassin. She's gonna, just gonna drop once more. Doesn't have the health to deal with it. Coddle, almost the only one to survive once again. Slark, dropping low from that Doom. It's not gonna be enough. Swap in. Coddle, is he in trouble? Yes, he is. He's not gonna be able to make it back out. And did actually have the four staff up in the ready, but just didn't really choose to use it. Was there a hook ready? Yep, there was a hook ready, so. Couldn't even have a four staff TP'd. Just uh, four staff up on the high ground. They wouldn't have actually seen him up there. But yes, Lucky, almost done with his basher, about 500 gold out, and that's uh, gonna run down his pocket pretty fast. Fast? He's having rather good experience per minute right now. Ventral Spirit currently sitting on the highest, 664. That's actually very, very respectable. And uh, in terms of net worth, still on the bottom is <laughs> the Queen of Pain. And she's actually going Scotty, Queen of Pain. I mean, she does need the stats, but why not go for an Aghanim Scepter when you basically turn into a position 5 support? You really need that magic damage. But they're going to be building uh, BKBs. That's pure damage, excuse me. But they're ba basically building BKBs left and right. As of right now, or that's at least what they should be doing, and that's the only thing that Phantom Assassin really is doing right with this build. I mean, Desolator is rather old school for Phantom Assassin, so, in Vla so is Vladimir's offering. Usually, what you would do is um, just go for Battle Fury, try to farm that up, then get your Helmet of Dominator, and then start building Bashers and Super Bashers and Satanics and whatever. Basically, any da damage item you can get your hands on. Axe, though. Sitting on... Very, very close to a heart. Is basically what I was trying to say there for a second. He is 60% physical damage resistance. He's a tough nut to crack, but they've actually not been having the biggest of problems, though. Now Slark gonna be jumping in on the Vengeful Spirit. The Mansa style, that's gonna dodge it. Vengeful Spirit, using the wrong illusion to run out. Or the wrong right one. Now Darkseer getting caught out. That's actually quite a kind of a disaster. This Darkseer, he's out for a very, very long time. Not entirely sure why he's out for that long, but the buybacks are not abundant. He's got it, but I don't think he wants to use it. As of right now, now the push is gonna be imminent. What I meant by the wrong illusion was the fact that you can actually trick the enemy just by popping the illusions and moving somebody else. They're gonna fall for that. Swap out to somebody, maybe. Just the Dark Seer, just to be a general asshole. And um, try to make it out that way. Lion. Don't really know what he's going for. He's going for an extra day gun. He needs more burst. He can pretty much solo. He can, he can solo this Queen of Pain, no problem. There is enough damage for that. Oh, yep. That's the push going in. They're just going to be skipping creeper. He's actually running in down there at the bottom. Slucky. He's going in all by himself. Shadow Dance. Going to go out and he's going to be able to pounce back to safety though. Axe. I think he kind of misunderstood it because he was sitting in there as well. Queen of Pain. Not going to try anything just yet. She is sitting at the front of the fight which is not where she wants to be. She wants to be sitting off the back just casting spells and just throwing daggers in there. That's pretty much all she's good for as of right now. Doesn't really have the damage to do anything. Oh, the Pudge Hook. He's going to find the Lion, and that's a very, very valuable target. If they can get rid of him before the finger goes, it could become a bit of a problem. And yes, he is almost going to go down. Going to let the finger rip onto the Doom. He's trying to chase out, but in the meantime, the entirety of the Dire Squad, the Phantom Assassin actually getting held in place. There are nobody, though, to follow up with the damage. Doom on the Slark. Vengeful Spirit going to try to do this. Phantom Assassin going to jump in on her. And she's almost going to follow, though Pudgy, the big man. Nobody has fallen yet yesterday, Queen of Pain has. Now Axie's sitting inside there with the call onto the Darkseer. Wall has not dropped yet. Now the Phantom Assassin coming back in, wants to go up against this Pudge. It's going to drop to the Darkseer. Axe going to miss the Donk once again. And he's going to be going up against this Darkseer. Shouldn't not really that be that big of a problem when you got a Slark on your back. Shiva's just going to go. Doom, going to go back in. 
So it was the Vengeful Spirit, but I don't think, yep, the damage is just not there. Doom, trying to go up against the Slark, but the damage, the amount of physical damage resistance might be too high for him. As he's just getting forced in and out, and... Oh, now Pudgy, he's not gonna find the target that he was looking for, but he's gonna find a target. Coddle, able to make it back out, what a play there. As Slark, they wanna go for the hook. Is he gonna find it? Nope, gonna just completely split the rackets. Now Slark, he's back in. He's healed up and he's ready. Not for a doom though. Not for a doom. Now it's a very, very messy fight. If we look at the fight recap, they're of course Dyer winning it by losing the lesser heroes, but as you can see, I mean that was a very, very messy fight. Almost every single spell in the book getting dropped. Axe using four calls. This was ridiculous. Completely crazy fight. And Queen of Pain. Not really getting closer to that, Scotty. Has died 17 total times. And we've had two kills per minute. As of right now, Slucky, he's sitting on a lot of money. Might be wanting to save some for a buyback. He does have 2.8 gold surplus extra to spend. But his death is costing him. Yep. Now he doesn't have the buyback. His death is going to cost him 750. <laughs> that is way too much. Now gonna actually, he's going to go for the Super Basher and... Uh, that's going to enable them to get some form of lockdown onto this Doom. If he can pounce in at the right time and uh, abyssal him before the Doom goes, he should actually have enough damage to try to finish him off. Does still have 25 stacks of Essence Shift, so he has way too much agility. If that's how you want to put it. Zeus? Or not Zeus? Jesus? Jesus! Has just gone for the... Basically, the roaming single target pick off punch build, a very mobile one with the blade mail. Um, usually, maybe in this type of game, I would have gone for the tank punch. Oh, lion. Unable to find anybody. Oh, the hook. I swear to God, that was on target. <laughs> that was on target. That hit the lion. Just didn't register. That was not a bad hook. This punch has been having a few issues with the hooks, but it's not really been that big of a deal. I mean,. He's landed some uh, some decent ones. He's landing the one he's supposed to land. Darkseer is sitting on that ultimate orb. Hasn't really gone any further. And Queen of Pain is still waiting for that second ultimate orb so she can get that Scotty of hers. I would possibly trade out the ultimate orb for the Null Talisman. Just saying. Just saying. I know it sounds crazy, but I might do that. Or just sell the Null Talisman and go for the ultimate orb. That's gonna grant her enough. Doom now finished with the heart. But the push though is imminent on the middle lane. Is this the fight? Is this the fight we're looking for? Slark. Oh, the disjoint. Put oh, X. No, you're going on the illusions, my man. That's not what you want. They're just gonna go straight for the range tracks. Darks here, not gonna let the wall, the wall rip. Not really doing a whole lot. Axe though, falling for the bait. Slug coming in from the rear. Gonna try to get this punch before it gets too dangerous. Doom and the Dismember. Everything going on to Slug and he's gonna drop. No. No question there. Lion. Able to get the finger off on about two. Vengeful Spirit is gonna drop despite the BKB. Doom though. Oh no. Axe getting hooked. There was no Dismember though. They're just pulling back out. They got the melee racks and they should be happy with that. Queen of Pain though. In a lot of trouble, Pudgy. He's just gonna jump in. He wants to get this lion. There is no dismember, and he's now a frog. Ducks here. Gonna let the wall. Gonna hit the wall there. Pudgy. Oh, yes. The dismember is on target and axe. He's gonna drop. No question about it. Little lion. Gonna get that ultimate off, and it's gonna be enough to take out this Pudge. Phantom Assassin. Gonna go for the Doom. Is he gonna be able to take it? I don't think so. Nope. Damage is not enough, and she knows. Gonna try to go for the armlet toggle to avoid this Ducks here. Is it gonna be enough though? Oh no, the counter initiation in on the Darks here and the finger. Once again, just ready and gonna let it drop. Now PA though, it's gonna die to this Queen of Pain. That was a big kill for her. She's gonna try to find this lion. There is a bit of a long cooldown on a Sonic Wave, but... Oh no, you gotta use your Scream of Pain plus the dagger, my friend. Your right click damage is just not enough yet. Gonna drop it. And why is he standing still? I'm not entirely sure. Waiting for the stun. It is available, might actually be waiting for the kill, just needs the mod for the finger. Oh no, but the Queen of Pain. With that Scream of Pain. It's gonna find herself. That was pretty much three kills, I think. Yup, that was three kills for the Queen of Pain, and 
That's gonna put her right back onto the farm board, gonna surpass the Pudge and the Coddle. But Coddle is not exactly the heaviest farming of heroes. He's a might actually. Nope, not yet. He's sitting right in the middle of the last hits. With Pudge being the bottom feeder. But yeah, Slark might be looking to pick up something instead of that Ring of Basilius. Buyback's out of the question because you just don't do or you pay attention to buybacks in pub games. So um, yeah, might be looking to sell this Ring of Basilius soon and then just going straight for something else. As he's just going to be charging down this bottom lane. With the Doom, the 4.2k Doom. He's also going for the good old... Assault Curass, and that's actually going to help him out a lot. That's going to make sure that he has mana on himself. Slark, though, now trying to jump this Vengeful Spirit. Abyssal Blade is going to go in. There should be more than enough Mantis style. Not going to disjoint this one. Though the Queen of Pain coming in. She wants to get the counter kill. Pudge, if the Darkseid would get out of the way, he could go for a hook. Is he going to try for it? Not yet. He's just going to jump into this member, and that's the kill on the Slark there. And that is definitely not worth it. <laughs> Trading a Slark for a Vengeful Spirit, even though it is position 2 Vengeful Spirit. Just gonna get picked off, and that death cost him quite a significant amount of money. Vengeful Spirit, though. I love the fact that she's only sitting on three items, but also four from the farm board. This Phantom Assassin has got the Demon Edge. Might be looking to turn that into some, uh, hopefully, an MKB. But I can't promise you anything. She hasn't purchased... Is it going to be a rapier? Is it going to be the rapier? She's not buying a javelin. Which means that it's not an MKB. And... It can't be a basher because that's a sacred relic. Is it going to be the rapier? That could be... Oh, that would fulfill... This build. That would just make it so much more awesome. Keep it the light, he's got his pipe of inside up and going for him. Oh, Pudge might get found here by the axe call. Is a bit off target. Plate mail, not entirely sure what he's going to turn that into. Once again, there are only two choices. Salt Curiaso Shiva's guard. And um, I can't really decide. It's probably going to be a Shiva's guard. But yeah, nope. Javelin has been purchased. Rapier alert off. Oh, the Doom on the axe. He's going to actually have to let that go. And Doom, he's dropping mana quickly, but he's just got to run. Either I would say... Nope, he's just going to be a badass and pop that Shivas. Want to try to keep mana on himself. Now Coddle coming back in. There's a Darkseer on the lane, though. They might want to look for this counter kill. Slark, though. He is Shadow Dance. Going to miss the pounds. As of right now, Doom has no mana left for that Hellbear clap. But Slark... Gonna get stunned. Where is the ulti? It's off in one second. Oh, Lion gonna go in with a big finger. He's gonna now get dismembered. Dagon is gonna rip, but not gonna be enough. Quaddle trying to get out here. This time you're not gonna get it because Pudge is on your tail. Slark gonna jump this Darks here. Might be a bit too much for him even. But then the entire team trying to get the damage in. Quaddle just running in circles. Not really sure what he's trying to accomplish, but he's running left and right and center. Just trying to get out. He's got the BOTs ready. Is he gonna... Yes, he is. I think Scream of Pain would have finished him off, but... Oh, they got him? They got him. The dagger was enough. The dagger was enough. Phantom Assassin getting cocky there with the Aegis of the Immortal. So, yeah. She's sitting on an Aegis. Might want to turn those face boots into something else. Something a bit more useful. Um, I would say in not an AC, that would be a not a particularly good choice, but it's a bit more damage, I would say. Or just sell a blast and go for it. Now you can't do that because the unique attack modifier, the Desolator really ruins a lot in this, in this particular game. In terms of, it really limits you in terms of items, what you can actually get and what you can't get. Because you can't go for Satanic because that's going to get ruled out by the Desolator. You can't go for Scotty because the effects don't stack, I mean... Phantom Assassin is, uh, has really limited herself, and 
I think you might actually just fall out of the picture here with that, uh, with the item limitations that she's got on her. Oh, they might want to jump this Jesus. Axe is actually going to buy back, so forced out from them, and it looks like Radiant are uh, ha pretty happy with that. Just going to force out the buyback. Yeah, buyback cost is like 2k, so he's going to drop the axe to 2k gold. Phantom Assassin going to show her face once again. Did actually sell the armlet, which does make this build somewhat more okay-ish, but I'm still not very happy about it. Doom, not gonna actually, uh, he's gonna go for the AC, that's gonna help out his team actually, quite a significant amount, gonna drop the attack speed, or gonna increase the attack speed. Gonna decrease the attacks per second, or increase, excuse me, I'm just blabbering like an idiot. But yeah, that's gonna help out the Vengeful Spirit, she's also going for an MKB. So we got the MKBs coming out, but down the bottom lane, Phantom Assassin. Taking care, taking good care of the darks here in terms of just slicing him open. BKB has been popped. Not entirely sure that was a good idea because there are no stunts on this Queen of Pain. There is only the dagger and that's not really going to do much when you're blinking hero. Or Phantom striking hero I should say. But nevertheless, we're hitting 63 minutes here. I'm still trying to keep this game somewhat interesting. And uh, you guys are going to have to give me some feedback on how I'm doing. Because I'm going to be sitting here casting a lot of these longer games once I start getting into more pro casting. So Hopefully this game isn't too boring for you. Because there has been a lot of intensity. It's not Chinese Dota where you got 30 kills in 70, 70 minutes. But yeah, anyway, Doom is... Basically, the farm legend doesn't rain now, except for Slug, of course, but then again, it is a Slug, and he's actually going for a Crystal Crystallis? Crystallis? MKB, once again, underrated. Now, Pudgy, he's revealed his own position. That's the problem. Crowdle Blast. It's going to connect on him. And now, the tower is going to fall. Axe is going to be taking that. They're not ready to fight it. They don't have the Darkseer backing them up. Slug, he's going to pounce onto the Pudge. That could be a mistake, though. There's no team to help him out. Pudge. It's going to let go of the blade mail. There is, he does have a four step out in case he needs to, but just going to be sitting in there. Queen of Pain going to be dropping low, Pudge by back. Doom in a bit of trouble. He doesn't have the mana for anything, basically going to Doom the Axe. He is not going to be able to make it out because there is a Vengeful Spirit. Yes, he might be. No, the perfect vacuum into the wall and there are a lot of illusions just dropping away at these people. Queen of Pain, got no secondary ulti. Hook, not gonna connect on anybody. Just gonna connect on the illusions, but the Phantom Assassin is still in there. Age is gonna pop. Lion, that did nothing. That finger, and he's just gonna get dismembered and violated in all sorts of ways, and gonna ultimately drop. So, oh, actually, Pudgy. Pudgy, Pudgy. You went up against the Phantom Assassin and lost, my dear friend. PA, trying to go in, she does have the BKB, but up against this right click damage, it's not going to be enough. And she's just going to fall. How much did I cost her? She had 4k gold earlier, not a whole lot, but she definitely needs to get some more items. Because as of right now, she's just not strong enough. Phobos. Sitting there with the Aya Scotty, I would have personally gone for an Aghanim Scepter at this point, just saying. But she is overtaking people left, right, and center in the farming board. With those couple of kills that you got earlier. Coddle Blast, that's gonna connect. Just gonna decide not to care about that and Actually buyback up from the Phantom Assassin. Only that's only gonna yeah, enable her to buy a pair of uh, boots of travel and that's a ser that's seriously diminishing. They're even gonna cancel them. Oh dear. It's Phantom Assassin not having a good game. But then again, this Radiant team, I mean, they've got two Raxes down, two lanes of Raxes, they're only lacking the top one. There's a double damage turn sitting here, basically waiting for somebody to pick it up, like a Phantom Assassin. Not entirely sure about the decision by Slug to get crits. He's gonna go for the Daedalus, but crits over an MKB in this case, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, he, he could become the Bash Lord with the Abyssal Blade. You could maybe have argued for it in case... You know, if he would have gotten the Abyssal Blade, or not the uh, the Abyssal Blade, the MKB instead of the Abyssal Blade, and then turning that into crits, but I'm just not entirely sure about this build. 
I mean, he's doing he's doing good. Like no question about that. But I think he could do better with the right items. But yeah, almost 70 kills. We pretty much got to kill a minute out in each and every single one of these teams. Queen of Pain getting the MKB done there. And that's going to be important up against this Phantom Assassin. She's now going to be able to do nothing. Actually picking that armlet back up. That's the armlet Phantom Assassin that we know. We all know and hate. And there it is. Axe jumping in. They're going to be going on the Queen of Pain. Axe not even triggering the blade mail. I think he might have forgotten. Perfect vacuum. There was no wall to follow it up though. But... No kills actually just yet. Doom just chopping away and they're just looking to take the tower and retreat back out though. Axe, I don't really think he agrees with that. Neither does Slark, the dismember. In on that, Axe still just sitting in there and he's just gonna drop. There's no Phantom Assassin. She's actually dead. She just went in and died. And now the Codlet's gonna go down. The Lion only wanna make it out. And we have another MKB by the Ventral Spirit, so... This is a... This is an issue. <laughs> For him, this is a rather big issue. They just cannot deal. They can't handle them in the fights, and they're making not very good decisions here. And Pachi doing the exactly the right thing again in the Ghost Scepter. Up against three right click heroes. Whereas Axe is like spin to win. I am but a one man light brigade, yet I shall give my all. Um, alright, Codla, I don't think you're gonna do much in this particular matchup because those middle racks are gone, my friend. Lion is gonna let the ulti rip. It's only like a small poke at this point. Dozu or Pudge did really think he was trying to go in, but yeah, they're, they're not really up for it. They're actually just gonna drop the two fours, and with that Desolator, it's quick. Those are gonna fall quick. They might wanna get the Lion. Just gonna stall him for now. Fortification. It's still up and going. Not anymore, though. But the tower is going to fall. They're going to go straight for the throne. We might see a win here. Nope. The comeback. Is it there? Nope. They're just going to be pulling back. So no actual comeback. And Doom. He's going to get frogged. Where is the stun? It's right there. And Doom. He's got no mana. They're just making sure that he doesn't have anything. Slark now back in. They wanted to, he wants to try to see if he can get out. There's the stun again, plus the coddle dispersion. There's the finger. This is terrible for the Doom. He's just... Oh, this is painful to watch. Now the Slark coming in and he's gonna go down. Oh, dear lord. That's not good. Like, whatsoever. That is actually rather annoying for him. And now they don't have the Doom for you about 80 seconds. I think he might have buyback. Yes, he does. So in case he needs to, he he, sh he could buy back. But all lanes are currently pushing. Coddle taking care of that bottom lane. Finally, the Academy Scepter pick up by Ducks here. That's going to make a huge difference in terms of that wall. And there you go. That's the Doom buying back. Pudge is up in about 10 seconds. They're just going to go straight for the top racks. They want to get those megas. Axe, though, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Wall is going to get dropped. There is no vacuum, though, but Slug, he's just going to go down. They're unable to stand up to the damage. Now, Line, he's going to get swapped in and just going to drop immediately. He's going to let go of the finger first, but not really doing anything. PA dropping as well. There's, they're running in one at a time and just getting decimated by this immense amount of damage. PA, your build isn't right, girl. With the right items, she could actually have dealt with it, but just can't anymore. I mean, they got the MKBs coming out left, right, and center, so she needs to try to build in some more strength or something like that. I mean, just get a Satanic and a heart, and you're you're good. Sell the Deso. Sell the Deso, the armlet, and the Vladimir's offering. Try to build into something else. I mean, I know it's kind of late for that, but... This build just isn't working. She's got mediocre items coming out left, right, and center, but... Now Lion, he's actually going to be buying back Coddle. He's going to get swapped into basically nothing. Ulti's going to rip this time, having a lot more effect. Vengeful Spirit, unable to deal with the damage there. It's going to get forced back in. And Axe, is the dunk going to be enough? No, Pudge. He's dismembering the Axe. Doom, he's back in. Has he let it rip yet? Nope, there's no Doom. It's on cooldown. And... They're just basically trading blows as of right now. No real damage is being done. Axe now going up against this Doom. 
He's going to try to TP out. Nope, he's going to get turned into a frog. And there is no real backup. Now the Dark Seer, he's coming in. Is there a wall available? Nope, no wall for at least a couple more seconds, though. They're dropping low this entire team. Axe trying to stand up to the damage. Unable to. Now it's the Lion's turn. To actually just retreat out. Both teams retreating out. They got to get back and defending up, up against this. Don't let the Blake Keeper effigy drop. Please don't. But yeah, that right there is an exposed ancient which took basically no damage whatsoever. Coddle. Oh dear, the Vengeful Spirit going down. That's an important kill though. Ven Phantom Assassin might be a bit of a more important kill. But they really want to try to see if they can get this thrown. Doom coming in vacuum. Of course, not going to matter with that BKB coming out. Vengeful or Phantom Assassin going to try to go for their armlet toggle, but she's gone. No, you can't. So, like, he's just going to run through the wall, just going to decide not to care. But those illusions are doing one hell of a lot of damage. He's doing more damage than Slucky himself. That's what you got to pay attention to. And that looks freaky. Take a look at that icon. Icon screen. That looks super freaky. But nevertheless, once again, repelling them. That's the power of an Aghanim Scepter into a wall. I mean, once you're up against, like, right-click heroes like this, it's gonna matter. It's gonna really matter whether or not that wall is down or not. Pudgy and Axe, the only ones with buyback oh, currently. Trust you guys. We're hitting 100, or 114, what the hell am I saying? 74 minutes. One hour and 14 minutes. As of right now in this game, this is probably the longest game I've casted to date. But that's not a problem. We're just going to power through this. Trying to keep it interesting here. Pudge hasn't really been getting a whole lot of new items yet. As of right now, he's still sitting on... Yeah, basically uh, what he was sitting on earlier. The only difference is the Ghost Scepter, and he's turning Boots of Travel instead. But yeah, he actually got that a while ago. So I'm um, currently having some trouble keeping up on the farm, and he's... Basically, the lowest line is kind of uh, it's kind of dropped down. If they're going to doom that illusion, that is a disaster. Yep, he's just going to go down. Even going to let the Sonic Ray rip. And she doesn't have an Aghanim Scepter. That could actually be a bit of a problem. But yeah. Lion is the one I want to look at. He's kind of taken... He's kind of fallen flat here in the late game. Does have the Bloodstone and the Aghanim Scepter. But he's back down to the lowest. And even Coddle now farming him. And they want to go against up against this Roshan. Now PA. I think she's having an interest in that Aegis. Just depends on what she wants to drop for it. I would say the armlet would be a good drop. Just saying. But I'm not inside sure what this uh, girl wants to do. Yep, gonna drop the armlet. And Lion is sitting on the cheese. Yep, going to bring the Curie out to pick that up. So now Lion is on the cheese. It all depends if he gets time to use it. Because if he uh, if he gets focused like last time, he's not going to. 75 minutes. 78 to 17. We haven't been looking at grabs lately. And he's pretty much swinging back and forth. We're almost at 2k, which is very, very significant. Axe going up against the lone Vengeful Spirit. She might be looking to try to get out. It's going to be able to. It's actually going to get bumped out there. Axe now in the middle of everything. To go with the Phantom Assassin. She's dropping low. Vengeful Spirit is going to go first. Phantom Assassin. Now the Aegis is going to get popped. Slark now turning into a pig. Staff of Ice doing a lot of work. And she's, he's having trouble coping with the damage. Is there a wall down? Has there been a wall down? There has. Slark almost able to make it back out. Axe sitting inside of basically everything here. Which is where he's most comfortable being Doom now going out on the Phantom Assassin. He's gone. And now the A, the Axe Scepter with the finger is going to rip. But not really going to do a whole lot. Axe now going to go vacuum back in. And he's going to die as well. Oh, Slark. I'm not entirely sure that's a good decision right there. Because you got a rather far Queen of Pain just chopping away at you. And now it's the, it's the Lion's turn to take a beating here. And he's not even going to be able to do anything at all. And... Looks like this might be the GG push down mid lane. Coddle only want to survive this. They just gotta go for it. They have the pushing lineup. They gotta go for it. They gotta go for the win. 
in Doom. Yeah, he wants him to heal, but I would actually say he's in uh, rather good hands. He's got the heart of Tarask. I'm not entirely really sure what he's going back to base for. He does have the uh, BOTs, so he can TP up in the lane and just go. They got the push back defending, which is probably the better choice, and then the two ultra pushers here, uh, Queen of Pain and Ducks here. Trying to deal with the wave and Doom letting go of the Scorched Earth here. So the push is going to be even more significant. Slark, he's back though. He's back with a vengeance. And I can feel a bit of a lump in my throat or something like that. Ancient is going to try to... They're going to try to even get it. Slark, not going to be able to get this Queen of Pain and that's probably going to matter. Yep, Wall is also going to get dropped. He's fighting up against one of his only Lucians here. Doom does have it in about 7 seconds. He's got it up and ready but... They're just going to be chopping away at the Ancient here. Doom in two seconds. Might want to actually drop it on the Coddle instead. Is he? Nope, they're just going to go for the Ancient. And this looks like GG. This looks a lot like GG. Pudge and Dirks here. They're chopping away at they, they don't even care. That's it. Radiant turning this game around. And GG well played. After the longest Dota 2 game I've ever casted. Oh dear lord, that was a long time. But nevertheless, that was a rather cool game. That was a rather cool game. So thank you all so much for watching this. Um, please do go ahead and give me some feedback on how I did. I'm always looking to improve. And yes, useless PA. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta agree with that one. Uh, that arm lay pickup was maybe the worst decision he's ever made in Dota. I'm not sure. But you don't get an arm lay PA. Might be the new meta. I don't know. Um, but yeah, don't get an arm lay PA. Just saying. But nevertheless, I could blabber on like this forever. I'm probably more or less done. So, um, yeah, please do go ahead and give me some feedback, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.